Hi, I'm Vance Vagel, KV4P, Kilo Victor for Papa. Um, and I've been working on an open source project for the past year that I'm excited to share with you so you can build it yourself. Um, it's called the KV4P HT, and it turns your cell phone into a handy talkie, into a portable radio. So as you can see, it's this nice slim little device that you can build yourself with just a few parts, and it attaches to the back of your cell phone, like so. And there's a little USB connector that plugs in. And that's all there is to it. This turns now into a radio. Let me go ahead and start the app. Once you plug it into your phone, your phone becomes your radio. So when your phone is acting as your radio, you can see all of your memory channels here. You can have groups. You can type in your own frequency if you want to use simplex. So what I've been showing you so far, I'm using this uh, quarter wave antenna. But if you want to put it in your pocket and carry it around just like a regular cell phone, just take off the antenna. You can use any SMA male antenna of your choice. If you want to put it in your pocket, get one of these little ones. It's good for you know nearby local communication, like if you're on a hike or if you're just out with some buddies and you want to stay in touch. And now I have a two meter radio that I can easily put in my pocket, just like any other cell phone. And so when I have been using this for the past year, I've mostly been using this small antenna because it lets me check into my nets or just hear what's going on. Um, the range of the small antenna is obviously not great. Um, for better range, you want to use a big one. Uh, but for putting it in your pocket, nothing beats this. KV4P, just testing. This is a transmission from a KV4P HT to another KV4P HT so that you can hear both transmit audio and receive audio quality. Again, this is KV4P, just testing. Please disregard. All right, I'm going to demonstrate receiving a text chat message on KV4P HT. And remember, this is fully off grid. So even without your cellular connection, you can get a text message. So I'm going to go ahead and send it with another KV4P HT over here. Now I had the audio on on both phones. So you could hear what it sounds like. Uh, it's a AX25 1200 baud message. Uh, you can turn your sound off. It doesn't matter at all. So if you just have this in your pocket and you want to text with some of your friends, you don't need to have the sound on making that noise. Um, but if you notice, when this phone received the text message, it actually uh, popped up a notification, just like a regular text message. And if I tap on it, I can read the full chat. So for example, now that I have the chat up, um, if I say hello over here on this other phone, notice that it pops, <laughs> pops right up in the text chat. And that's it, that's how text chat works. Okay, so I want to show you some of the features of the KV4P HD so you know what you can do with your cell phone if you decide to use one. Um, so I already have a bunch of memories programmed in here. You can see my list. Um, if I wanted to scan, let's say I was working and I just wanted this in the background, I could hit scan. And you'll notice on the top it's scanning through all of the memories in the group that I have selected. Um, there's an optional stand for KV4P that you can print on your 3D printer. That's like this, so very convenient just to put on a desk. Um, the nice thing is it keeps the antenna vertical so you'll get good reception um, rather than laying it flat on your desk, which isn't the best. So definitely recommend this if it sounds interesting to you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the scan because we're not gonna scan anymore. Um, I wanna show you how to add a memory. So of course you can tune to any frequency you want. So a simplex frequency like you know 146.7, that tunes to it. If this is something that I use frequently, or maybe there's a repeater here, I can hit the plus button to add a memory. You don't have to program like regular radios, you just type it in. So let's just call this test repeater. And I'll put it in my Durham group. You can put it in a new group if you want. Let's say it has a, let's say it has a down offset. And the tone is 82.5, just for this demo. If I go ahead and hit save, you'll now see that if I scroll down, there's the test repeater. It's as easy as that to add a memory. So I tap it. And now it's tuned to a test repeater on the top. Let's go to settings. So I want to show you some of the things you can set up in settings. You're going to want to set your call sign up here. Um, I put dash eight just because I have a bunch of these test devices. Um, you don't have to put a dash anything if you don't want to. But what this will let you do is send text chat. Until you set your call sign, you won't be able to send text chat because that's how your messages are identified on the air. You can set your level of squelch. Um, I keep it pretty much on either this first one or I'll turn it off if I'm doing lots of texting and I don't want to risk the squelch cutting in and out. Um, there's three filters you can turn on and off. Personally, I think it sounds best with all three on, but feel free to experiment on your conditions. And then finally, there's a bunch of accessibility options, which you might find helpful. Sticky push to talk. Um, let me see if I can just demonstrate this real quick. 
I'll turn it on. And if I go back to that simplex frequency, just for testing purposes, let's test this out. So sticky push to talk, it's, it works like this. You push the button once, KV4P testing, KV4P testing. And you hopefully noticed that while I was talking, I didn't have to keep my finger on the button. It just makes it a little bit easier. You know, if it's a little bit hard for you to hold that. I'll turn that off. Uh, I can turn off animations if those blinks when people are talking are bothering you. And you can even turn on closed captions, which I'll include a demo of later from when I was listening to Annette. Repeater system on is, is uh, my clear node repeater system on, on, on this morning. So I thank you for uh, getting me in this morning and uh, say top for the morning. And the answer to the question is, uh, sadly, no, but I got a good relationship with it. It's something I always give them water at the Christmas I always bring him out some holiday cookies or something there, so that I don't know his name. But uh, <laughs> we're on really good terms, so there you go. N5JOJ, Northeast Oklahoma, back in the control.